Power to the Truth. Support Progressive Yahoo Groups. Y A H zero zero O O. Yahoo. At first, I didn't even like Yahoo because it sounded like a cowboy, a cowboy thing. Um, I monitor a few Yahoo groups and. Look at Yahoo Groups as another way for us to communicate when we're online. And it can be another part of a alternative media, another element in the matrix that you want to build in order to express yourself, get your ideals out here, and communicate with other people. So I monitor a few of them, and I'll put links in the bottom here. To me, to be a good monitor is to be able to keep a flow of posts going from people. In a Yahoo group, you, uh, you, you check out the theme of it, you know, what the, the main topic of the group is, and if you relate to it, then feel free to join it. And, you know, post your opinions, your ideas, and share information and news. As a monitor, I try not to be what's called a gatekeeper. You know, we're trying to create an alternative media to corporate media. Learn the power of the word, the power of definition. When people talk about the mass media, in reference to what is actually corporate media, you know, that's illogical, if not stupid. You know, there is no great mass media now in the USA. We are gradually developing an alternative mass media through different uh, websites. For example, Democracy Now! is about the best that I know of. There are other ones. So with Yahoo Groups, it can be a great way to, to interact with other people and to just help raise consciousness. We want to raise consciousness about the need for global liberation by any means necessary. You know, we need to be sincere about exhausting all peaceful methods of resistance in order to eventually topple the empire. As a monitor of a Yahoo group, I try not to micromanage you know, let people post what they want. You know, don't always be in a, a censor mode. Bad enough, many people, they censor themselves, you know, when they're communicating online and offline. So, I think that's a real flaw with the monitor when he becomes a uh, like e e eagle trips, you know. Oh, I'm the owner of the Yahoo group. You don't own shit. Yahoo owns all this stuff. At least with Yahoo groups. Same thing with YouTube. You don't own shit there either. YouTube owns it. They don't take your your video. Pff, you're out of here. Or, or, or those, 
they'll disguise it if you don't know the URL. That's the website link. So get hip to internet technology. You know, HTML, URL. So we need to use all the methods of communication that we can. As I said, in order to raise consciousness and to spread awareness and to discuss the issues that are going on in the world. So, when you can, join the Yahoo group, check it out. Remember when you post, like say you, you, you post your opinion about something, and then someone else posts something back, oh, you're stupid shit. Don't react. You know, get rid of that reactionary mind. You know, liberate your mind. You know, don't react emotionally. You're going to react, react with reason, with logic, with common sense. In fact, best not even react at all. Just remember your principles and, you know, any action in terms of, uh, of continuing a dialogue or a thread, you know, in a Yahoo group. Keep it positive. Keep it constructive. You know, keep it dynamic. You know, because there's threads in posts in, in Yahoo groups where someone posts one thing, someone posts something else. You know, RE colon, you know, like a, a response. And. Sometimes these threads get all tangled up. It doesn't have a damn thing to do with what the original topic was. And people get tangled up in a mess. You know, so, keep the topic in mind when you post. And try to keep it on a group level. If you're going to have like a one-on-one -on -one punch out with someone else, get that offline, get that off out, out of the group, out of the group level. You know, do it one-on-one -on -one with someone. And, you know, learn to, to communicate with others, you know, without being combative. You know, if, if you're going to be combative, why even, why even be online? You know, and remember, we're just communicating words here. You know, and you got to distinguish between antagonistic contradictions among the people and non-antagonistic contradictions. So. In other words, be humane, you know, be polite, be respectful, you know, get rid of that, that inflated ego. You do not always have to be right. You do not always have to get the last word. And, you know, be in tune with your spirit. Hopefully, the spirit of, of truth. And share your truth with other people. Do not try to be, well, I recommend, you can do what the hell you want. But do not try to be popular. You know, remember, these are people online. You don't even know, you may not even know who in the hell they are, what their living conditions are. Some people are just having a bad day. They might be pissed off at the old lady, or the old lady's pissed off at the old man, or the kids are chewing on their toes. You don't know. You know so try to be understanding with other people and not uh, jump to conclusions. 
not make assumptions. A lot of this involves being able to communicate in a clear, direct, simple way. You know, this is all part of, of raising our consciousness. You know, learn the power of the word. If you don't have a dictionary, get one. I got a big English dictionary, I got a big Spanish dictionary. So, do not, uh, excuse me, I'll forget this, my, my air conditioner. So, check out Yahoo Groups, and I got stories about Yahoo Groups. Uh, nowadays, I mainly, online, I'm on the... Uh, Twitter. I know Facebook is a CIA data mining operation, yet my Twitter posts cross post to Twitter and I, I can cross post to Google Plus, which is to me is a good one. And remember that you know we're we're online here. You know if you want privacy, go in your closet. Go in your closet. You know, know that whatever we transmit electronically with our cell phones, on the internet, or any other electrical devices, that they can be under surveillance. Get rid of the paranoia. Get rid of the fear. Like I said, if you got paranoid fear, just stay offline. Go outside and play with the kids. And maybe you should spend more time with playing with the kids. Your children. Don't be a neglectful parent. You know, be, on, be online. Oh, don't bother me right now. I'm online. You know, so we need to keep that balance, you know, to... To be online, but also to be able to interact with other people around you in your local community offline. You know, so that there's a balance. Right now, I'm single. I don't have any little children. I don't have a regular slave job during the week. So, I can afford to uh, be online more than most people. So, I hope you appreciate this little video, and forgive me of any of my mistakes. I don't try to be perfect. I just try to progress on a day-to-day -day basis. Just be progressive. You know, don't get hung up on being perfect. Perfection is sometimes just like being able to drop that ball in the hoop, you know, the perfect arc. And then it's over. And you're back to being imperfect. You know, so, power to the people. Overthrow your fear. And support progressive Yahoo groups. Thank you.